what advice would you give us in terms of looking to the future to make sure that we don't fall foul of the same things that are happening in the tech industry right now? Even with really good intentions, you know, the inventor of the Facebook like button is in the film. And he says, you know, when we envisioned the Facebook like button, we thought we were just spreading positivity and love. You know, they, how, where on your, your you know, consequence map, if you're trying to map out, like, well, what would be the negative and positive consequences of this? Could you have foreseen that this would lead to an increase in polariz political polarization because people would be liking things only in their filter bubbles? Could you have foreseen this would lead to an increase in teen suicides or depression because kids would get addicted to the number of, amount of feedback that they got? It'd be really hard to predict some of those things. I think one thing that people can do is to red team their, their thinking. You know, instead of saying, you know, we, we want to think optimistically, but ask you know, not just what, what great thing will come of this, but where is this vulnerable? Under what conditions is the very thing that I'm saying would be great for the world? Could it lead to the exact opposite of that? And actively sending your mind to imagine a dystopia could occur from this positive thing. What might be those scenarios? And even have other people who are not part of the group you know, do that. I'm imagining some future world, maybe in a COVID society, um, where you know technology teams could actually you know dial in red teams to join their meetings to actually do that kind of counter analysis and say, let's actively poke holes in the thinking here. I think we don't have enough um, humility and skepticism of our own ideas because we're so optimistic. And I think people take you know self criticism or self um, you know being being cynical of our own thinking as almost like a put down. And I don't think it has to be that way. It just has to be you know, thoughtful. Barbara Marks Hubbard's quote that um, we, we've been granted the power of gods without the wisdom, love, and prudence of gods. 